This is George from High Tech Legion. With SSDs coming down in price and going up in data capacity, it's getting easier and easier to upgrade from a mechanical hard drive up to an SSD in your system or your notebook. But of course, with so many on the market, it's hard to choose exactly uh, what you want to upgrade to. You've got different controllers, different types of flash, um, and price points that are all over the place. Today we're going to take a look at one of the mainstream drives, the Transcend SSD 320 256GB model. 256GB being a really nice size to move up to to hold your OS as well as your programs and quite a bit of data, but still at a price point that's going to be affordable for an upgrade. Getting our first look at the SSD 320, let's take a quick look at the box, go over a couple of the features really quickly. Um, now, as I said, there are quite a few controllers on the market at this point. Um, we're seeing new controllers coming out all the time. This uses a tried and true Sandforce SF2281, uh, very well proven controller. And it's going to be used in conjunction with MLC asynchronous NAND flash. So you've got a very tried and true a uh, reliable combination there between the type of flash being used as well as the controller itself. Good longevity, uh, we've seen great results from it in the past. Not the fastest, sexiest, you know, controller um, flash combination out there, but like I say, proven re uh, reliability. Uh, supports trim, NCQ, and smart fu uh, functions, so you do have trim, so you're going to get extended longevity, uh, you're going to get extended durability, better uh, read and write patterns as well and uh, with smart functions you are going to be able to maintain the drive see exactly what is going on ultra slim seven millimeter form factor so it is going to fit into desktops it's going to fit into ultrabooks as well as notebooks and finally disk copy and cloning software included if you are coming over from mechanical drive you just want to clone your disk easiest way to do it included uh, cloning software makes everything very very easy now you do see some good specs here um, continuous reads of 560 megabytes per second continuous writes of 530 megabytes per second now those are maximum speeds and they are going to be uh, with compressible data incompressible data is going to be an entire another story using asynchronous flash ram Moving around the back again, got just, you know, the quick specs as far as it being 7 millimeters, weight 52 grams, etc. Uh, SATA 3 interface, obviously, and a couple of performance benchmarks back here with the 560-530 that they're quoted out front being from Addo. Taking a look at the drive itself, very standard as you can see. I mean, not much to see with SSDs themselves. One nice thing we do see here, though, is the fact that the connectors themselves are very sturdy. They're very well built onto the uh, board. As you can see, you get very little flex. That's actually a pretty big deal. If you've used SSDs in the past, even some mechanical disks, you will get some flex there. They will break over time if you do a lot of plugging uh, and unplugging. Now going around the front, you've got the Transcend logo, obviously, with SATA 3, 256 gigabytes, around the back, completely blank. Now this is not a metal case, it is actually a plastic case, does have a little bit of flex to it, but it is plenty sturdy, obviously, this is not going to be a moving part, it's not going to be seeing any type of force. So it is a really good looking drive with some very, very nice features from Transcend. Included accessories with the SSD 320, multilingual warranty cards, three-year warranty on the SSD 320, quick installation guide, very well illustrated, large pictures. As you can see, also multilingual, and as you can see, nicely illustrated, very, very easy to follow. A couple of pamphlets on memory cards and accessories, as well as memory modules. Three and a half inch drive tray, so if you're going to be putting it into a desktop, and you've only got a three and a half inch drive tray, you can actually use it, mount the disc into the three and a half inch adapter, then right into a three and a half inch drive opening in your desktop. Two sets of mounting screws, one for the drive itself, one for the adapter. Now you'll notice there's no software included, however downloadable directly from Transcend site is RX Recover, which is um, data recovery software. So if you accidentally erase some pictures, etc. It uh, supports a number of file formats. You can actually recover them. Also available is SSD Scope, which uh, is disk cloning software, as well as smart health status um, 
monitor and also allows for firmware updates to the SSD 320. So, take a look at the inside of the drive. Nice green PCB, Sandforce controller. You've got a total of 16 memory modules, double sided board. As we say, nicely laid out. And as you can see, absolutely nothing to see here uh, out of the ordinary. Absolutely no qualms with the um, quality of the workmanship on this board. Everything's put together very nicely. No stray solder. Very nicely laid out. So, we've seen the inside, we've seen the outside. Let's take a look at how it performs. Looking at benchmarks on asynchronous drives is always a little strange. Uh, they seem to be all over the place. The reason being, completely incompressible data really drags down the transfer rates on asynchronous drives. And that's exactly what we're seeing here. So when you look at the ASSSD scores, uh, it, you, know, you see relatively um, slow read and write speeds, but it still comes up with a good performance, you know, overall performance number. Now, uh, when you look at something like Addo, which is many consider to be the absolute real-world predictor as far as performance, it's getting speeds very close to what it claims. You know, it claims 560 megabytes per second on the read, 530 on the write, and we're getting very close to that when it was installed in the system, even with quite a bit of data on it. But more importantly, when you take a look at the numbers uh, as far as the Windows load time and application load time, it's right there that you can really see there's just a minimal difference between this and the most uh, enthusiast of drives. There's really just going to be a very, very slight difference in real world, world performance. So unless you're going to sit around running synthetic benchmarks all day long, you're not going to see a big performance difference uh, when you're using it in real world. You know, starting up applications, um, transfers, you're going to get fantastic performance and it's going to be just such a huge upgrade over mechanical, you know, that you're not going to actually believe the difference once you get your hands on it. Now, the problem here, and the only problem I see with the SSD 320 right now is pricing. Uh, the flash market is very, very volatile, so the SSD market is very volatile as far as pricing. At this particular moment, the SSD 320 is priced higher than many of its competitors, especially any of the drives with asynchronous flash. Uh, it's actually priced just a little bit off of the enthusiast drives. Uh, we're talking only about a $20 difference between this and a 256 gigabyte OCZ Vector or Samsung 840 Pro. However, like I say, it's a very volatile market. By the time this actually gets published, that could be completely different. Prices are changing constantly. So that is the only reason I'm going to be giving this a silver award. Now, if the price were in line, it would easily be a gold or an editor's choice, depending on how much the pricing were in line. So as pricing changes, the award obviously would change. However, you're not going to make a mistake going with the SSD 320 if you're looking for a mainstream upgrade to a mechanical drive. It's going to give you what you need. It's got a proven track record in its components, very well put together, nice software package, and you've got the nice package of accessories. So once again, the SSD 320 Silver Award.